Well, this morning, my mom has a test for you. Uh, two part. Yeah, that's right, Penny. And uh, my first question is, when I show you this, what do you see? What is this? <coughs> a candle. What do you see? I see an upside down bell. An upside down bell? <laughs> wow. Wow. That's very good, Jack. Yeah. A candle, what else? What? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you look at this one way, you can see a vase. Can you see the vase? Flowers go in right here. But I heard someone from the congregation say something else that this can be very, very different. No, people. There are two faces here. Can you see the two faces? Yes, Emery sees them. Emery, do you want to come up and outline? Eric wants to see the two faces. Do you see it now? Does everybody see two faces? See, here are their noses, right there. There are the foreheads. Do you see? You have to look at the black instead of the white. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that's Laverne Tinkham sees, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you get it? Yeah, okay. So, what this goes to show is that sometimes we think that we see something and we conclude and we say, yeah, yeah, I got it. But you know what? A lot of times there's more to the story and we don't see everything and we need to look longer. Well, now, we got this one figured out. I got a trickier one to show you next. Are you ready for this? What do you see here? Would the congregation please keep your answers? I know the name of it. It's something that looks like a net or something. Something that you knit? But it says something. Do you see what it says? Be careful, congregation. <laughs> it's not a code. Do you give up? Yeah, I think Patrick knows. <laughs> All right. If you look at the white, just at the white, what do you see? What do you see? Jack. I see an S, a U, an I, no, S, U, S, U, S, E, I. You're getting so close. That's why. Okay, you see E, S, U, S. Yes, Jesus. Now do you see the J? Right there. Yeah. Can everybody see Jesus? You have to look at the white. Watch my finger. See, J. Here's the E. S. U. S. You see that? Jesus? Yes, you do, don't you, Caitlin? Yeah. Emery, got it? Okay. <laughs> Well, what this shows us and what this teaches us is that if you look hard, you can find Jesus. And you know what? You can find him wherever you go. You can find him and, and people will be looking around and say, what? I don't see Jesus. If you have eyes to see him, you can find him. And so that's what this does. It reminds us of the fact that he's always here but we have to look for him. We have to look. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Oh God, it's so easy for us to take quick glimpses and make fast decisions. It's so easy for us to think that we know the whole scene, we've got the whole picture when we really just understand in part. We ask that we, we, we be reminded 
First of all, that there is so much that we do not know, we do not understand. And secondly, remind us that you are always here. Sometimes we might not see you, but it's because we don't look hard enough. Help us to try to find you, to find you in our hearts, to find you in our homes, to find you at school. In Jesus' name, amen.